this is Fateh Ilal Lohar, Assistant Professor, Department of Electronics and Communications at Engineering College Rawar. E Lecture 7 is prepared for RTU syllabus antenna and propagation for 6th uh, semester EC student. In last lectures, we have discussed the type of the antennas, type of the microstrip antennas type of the method of analysis of antenna, transfer line models and cavity models and also we have discussed the uh, feeding methods in this lectures we will discuss the how to design uh, rectangular patch antenna and circular patch antenna basically we, in this lecture we will discuss the what is the procedure for the design uh, antenna as per given uh, specifications so first we discuss the design of the rectangular antenna. Okay. You can see in this rectangular antenna, this is simple structures of rectangular antenna. First part is page and bottom part is ground. And this is the microstrip feed that is also called the gate feeding. Okay. And this you can see this is the front view of the antenna and this is the this curve represent the uh, input impedance variation of the antenna according to the gap length okay so now what is the procedure if for designing of any antenna if the given uh, parameter such as the this is dielectric constant of the substance material Okay, dielectric material may be roser material, FR form materials, any type of the material we can use for designing of the antenna. And FR is frequency is also given. What is the frequency? We have to design the any antenna. And this is the height of the substrate material. Then we detect. Then we have to calculate the value of width of the antenna and length of the antenna. Okay. So this is the procedure. First, we calculate according the W as per given dielectric constants ER. After calculating W, we determine the effective dielectric constant. This is given by the formula 14.1. Okay, once W is found using this 14.6, determine the extension of the length del L using the 14.2 formula. Basically, del L del length is due to the fringing effect. Okay, fringing effect length for slot one and slot two. So total length is two del L. The actual length of the patch antenna can be determined by using this formula. In this formula, we put the resonance frequency and E effective dielectric constants. This is calculated by the equation number 14.6, uh, sorry, 14.1 equations. And then we put the minus 2 del L, minus 12 to slot fringing effect length. This is the actual length we have calculated using this formula. Next, suppose this is a simple example. In this ex example, the design a rectangular microstrip patch antenna using substrate material RT duroid 5880 with dielectric constants 2.2 and height is substrate is 0 0.1588 cm so as to resonate at 10 gigas okay so solution so first we have to calculate W width of the antenna by putting the 2.2 dielectric constants and 3 and C uh, here uh, space velocity okay so this is the value of w as per the, this given specification the value of the w is 1.186 centimeter now second uh, steps calculation of the effective dielectric constants so in this formula we can calculate effective dielectric constant the, in this case the effective dielectric constant is 1.972 second thing we have to calculate the data with that Deep, uh, uh, fringing effect so using this formula we can calculate the del L length so now 
the actual length of the antenna is found using this l is equal to lambda by 2 lambda to lambda to minus 2 del l so this is the length is 0 0.906 centimeter finally the effective length of the antenna is equal to l plus 2 del l equal to lambda by 2 1.086 centimeter so according this example now we will, uh, we will calculate the yeah we will design this antenna using the uh, software electromagnetic software there are different type of electromagnetic software is available first is uh, uh, cst studio to suit set second is hfss okay third is ads okay so any type of software we can use to calculate and design the magnetic wave antenna so this is the experimental model of the page antenna this is the front view and this is the 3d view of the page in this view you can see this is the page this is transmission line or this is the feed port okay this is the height of the antenna and this is the substrate material okay after simulation this model the parameters after the parameter gives this is scattering parameters scattering parameters represent the band a resonant band at so as per given example the resonant frequency is 10 gigahertz so we this is this uh, software provides 10 gigahertz frequency at scattering parameters this is the vswr curve voltage voltage straining wave ratio so is actually at for ideal case the vswr is 1 in that case the depression coefficient is minimum if the vswr is 1 the maximum power is transferred to the load of the antenna input of the antenna otherwise uh, maximum power is reflected back from the uh, input impedance of antenna okay this is the smith chart smith chart is represent the impedance characteristic of the antenna okay this is this represent the 15.92 is characteristic impedance of the magnetic line okay and this port this point is represented 10 at 10 gigahertz the real part of the uh, input emitters of antenna 52.62 and imagery part is 1.52 that means if the antenna is perfect match the real part of the antenna is equal to the characteristic impedance of the antenna and imagery part is equal to zero in that case for ideal case if the antenna is perfectly matched then this is equal to the characteristic impedance of antenna and this part is equal to the zero this is ideal case of the antenna characteristic second thing is this is the electric field distributions of the antenna maximum electric field distribution at the slot length 1 and slot length 2 and in middle part is minimum electric field because at middle part is current is maximum and the structure work is short circuit to the ground this is the gain of the antenna okay it's very 3d gain view basically okay now now we discuss the how to calculate the circular patch antenna dimensions and design this is the simple circular patch antenna this is the ground part this is the relative constants and this is the patch of the circular in this design we have to calculate the radius of the circular antenna so it will given this basically this is the T TM11 mode okay the circular antenna for T dominant mode T TM11 mode in that case if the given substrate dilatic constants resonant frequency at higher of the substrate then procedure is we calculate the uh, then actual radius of the page antenna we can calculate okay so using this formula we can calculate first we calculate the f f putting the resonant frequency and dilatic constants after calculating f 
then we putting the value is f in this formula then we can calculate the radius of the patch antenna radius of the circular patch antenna okay so this is a simple example for designing a circular patch antenna substrate material is rt ro roller 5880 and dielectric constant is 2.2 and height is 0.1588 cm and resonant at 10 gigahertz now first we have calculated the f value f value is point 593 using f we can calculate l uh, radius of the patch circular patch the circular patch radius is 0.525 cm so using, using the dimensions we can design this antenna by using, using the software so this is the practically model the design model in software this is page or this port is represent the feed line okay feed line means this is a prop feed method this is the front 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 side and this is the back side view this simple coaxial feed this is the inside connector and outer is a teflon and outer is conductor and the ground is metal conductor <coughs> so after simulation the software is provide the result scanning parameter okay scanning parameter they provide at 10 gigahertz frequency and similar uh, vhw also provide vhw is similar to the 1.0783 and next and next smith chart smith chart is uh, this is the characteristic of to and this is the input impedance of the antenna real part is 49.73 and image part is 2.93 image part 2 means this is the inductive impedance if then this part is negative then we can say this is the negative uh, capacitive in impedance okay this is a simple basic procedure for design the any type of the antenna by using this formulas for rectangular and circular in the rectangular case we have to calculate w and length width and length and in case of the circular we have to calculate only the uh, radius of the patch okay this is the electric field distribution of the circular antenna okay all well, this is a gain pattern of the circular patch antenna <laughs>